All right, if you got one of these 08 through 2012-ish Chrysler Jeep Dodge products where you're experiencing an issue uh, where you cannot spend any money on fuel because it won't go into the car, just sprays back out. Got a quick vid for you. You're watching the Car Doctor channel. All right, this is an 08 Nitro. Um, you can uh, definitely experience this on any Chrysler Jeep model where you're having an issue putting fuel in the tank. The cause of these symptoms may be a restricted fill pipe, some type of contamination down in the fill pipe. Maybe somebody tried siphoning fuel from the vehicle and left some type of contamination in it. Uh, may have a problem with the EVAP vent side, the EVAP charcoal canister, uh, the EVAP vent control, the EVAP vent filter, the natural vacuum leak detection pump, or the fuel tank rollover valve slash anti-siphon check valve. On my initial inspection, I opened the fuel tank fuel filler cap and inserted my camera in the fuel tank filler and upon reaching the base of the fill neck where it attaches to the tank I can see uh, an amount of fuel that's collected and holding at the bottom of the fill pipe just above the rollover valve or anti-siphon valve uh, that's in the top of the fuel tank. So uh, loosen the filler neck at the tank and uh, we're going to pop things off and see if we can get a closer look at the tank inlet where the fill pipe connects that rubber hose i sprayed some uh, penetrant on the clamp and loosened it and we'll pry that hose off of the end of the tank and take a look see all right i'm just gonna gently pry the rubber hose off the Try to There's definitely fuel, standing fuel in the end of it. see just in the tank try to get some light down in there it's really hard to see anything but we'll try to free that valve up Okay, you can definitely see where the check ball is uh, in the closed position. Uh, so with the camera in here, you can see I freed things up with my little screwdriver I inserted in there and uh, seems to be functioning properly. So I'll put that back together. Uh, it, it wasn't the case this time, but uh, the, of course the canister side of things uh, the EVAP natural vacuum leak detection pump uh, can be problematic causing this issue. And one thing that's a good idea is off the canister vent side, there's a filter up in this vehicle uh, up in the wheel well there. Um, these can get pretty dirty. It's good to pull that filter assembly out, clean that out, make sure you don't have a restriction here and the vent side and uh, you know it's always good to check all your hoses the vent side uh, the canister side um, and uh, make sure that's good that's all fine in this case 
So uh, got things put back together. I'm gonna take it over to the gas station, see if we can put fuel in it. All right, moment of truth. Looks like she's taking fuel. Very, very good. We're just gonna have to monitor things and if it's a reoccurring issue, we're gonna have to dive deeper into the tank or contact the dealer for potential uh, warranty repair. All right, looks like another successful repair. We're gonna put this one back on the road, keep an eye on things. I'll keep you posted if uh, anything further develops. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.